after losing to Ole Miss on the road, the Aggie streak of losing away from Kyle Field continues. The Aggies just can't get it done in these tight one possession ball games. You are locked on Aggies. Your daily podcast on the Texas A&M Aggies. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Welcome on into Locked On Aggies. I'm your host, Andrew Stefaniak. Thanks for making Locked On Aggies your first listen every single day. Another game, more pain is really my first thought here. This is a ball game where, first of all, you don't put any of this on, on the kicker. That kick, to me, to me, I've watched the replay of it time and time again. I think that kick goes in if it isn't blocked. So that's not on Randy. Um, keep your head up, Randy Bond. It's all good. Not on you. That one hurts. But I, my immediate thought after this ball game is that interception in the end zone when you had it first and goal was, I think, that to me, you can't have that play happen. Watching that again, that was an interesting sequence as well. I don't know if y'all have rewatched it, but it was kind of like the way the announcers described the route, the way if Max Johnson was put, was going to miss with that ball, he needed to miss with a little bit of velocity and at the goal post. He kind of threw it outside of where he should have, and he almost like lobbed it. But what was so interesting about that sequence was how Max immediately was saying something to Anias, like like it was like it was Anias's fault. And did but then Jimbo was quick to say, you know, hey, that was quick to get on Max. So that was an interesting, interesting sequence. But you know, at the end of the day, if that's a, if you score a touchdown there, it's a different conversation. We're not going to live in the land of what ifs, though. The other thing that killed me too was the you get the touchdown to take the lead, and then they go down the field nine plays, seventy five yards, and two in two minutes and fifty four seconds to score a touchdown to retake the lead. It just the way the the, the defense had played. I was hoping they were going to make a stop on that drive. I, I just had this weird feeling that that touchdown drive that ended in the Max Johnson touchdown with oh, you know, a few minutes left in the fourth quarter, it felt like that was going to be the ball game. It felt like you were going to win it right there. So knowing that Jackson Dart leads them right down the field in – what was it? Yeah, nine plays, 75 yards, just like that. Bang, boom, touchdown to retake the lead. That was frustrating. It, it, and like I said, it really felt like when you took that lead. I know there's a lot of time, but you're, you're sitting here going, okay, we're one stop away from winning this football game, and you just couldn't get it done. We're going to talk about the big picture of this game, the big picture of just this team and this football program. We'll do that coming up right here on Locked on Aggies. First, we have got to talk about our friends over at LinkedIn. These days, every new potential hire can feel like a high-stakes wager for your small business. You want to be 100% certain that you have access to the best qualified candidates available. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs helps find the right people for your team faster and for free. LinkedIn is just a great tool for business owners if you're looking for employees, if you're an employer, looking for a job, it's an all-around great tool to use to find the best candidates for your company. So I highly recommend checking out LinkedIn if you have not already. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the qualified candidates you want to talk to faster. Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on college. That's linkedin.com slash locked on college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Big picture from this game, the one possession losses are what is are, are continuing to stack up and continuing to just, re, I mean, like, 
go through this. I mean, let's run back through this season, not trying to bring anybody pain on this Sunday, early Sunday morning. But, I mean, you lose to Alabama by six points at home. You lose to Tennessee by seven points on the road. And then you lose to Ole Miss by three points on the road. These are good football teams in Tennessee, Ole Miss, and Bama. And you're right there. You're right there. That's what's so frustrating about it. I'm not sitting here saying I'd rather lose by 40 because you wouldn't rather lose by 40, but it feels the same when you're just right there in a football game. A couple things go your way. You make a couple plays. You you make a few less mistakes. You win the game. And the Aggies made those mistakes in this game. That interception was costly, extremely costly. Um, And then – Dart, you know, 387 yards through the air, two touchdowns. You got a lot of players banged up. You got Sam McCall got hurt. Tariq Chappelle's hurt. Everybody's hurt. I mean, you're down to a couple of names left in the cornerback room. Receiver, you didn't have Evan Stewart. That hurt a lot. Le'Veon Moss goes down. Coach Fisher talked about his injury. Sounds like we could be without him for a while. It's just this program is getting to a point where you start to wonder what the future is going to look like. You start to wonder what's next. You start to wonder where do we go from here? Because these one score losses, I mean, that's the number 10 team in the country. It's a really good Ole Miss football team. You just lost two by one score. And, you know, one thing I don't like too, I mean, they gave you everything to be motivated about, you know, coach Kiffin was talking some smack, which is great part of football. I'm not saying anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, you know, they gave you every bit of motivation you could have needed to go win this game, and you just can't get it done. It it just feels like something's got to break for the Aggies at some point. It, it feels like everything. And then, I mean, like I said, that the interception Max threw, that was, that was a – that you can't say something's got to break our way. That was a error on the Aggies. If you don't make that – if you don't make that mistake – you don't make that mistake, then I think you win this game. If you throw a touchdown there, first to goal from the five, and you throw an interception, eight minutes, that has a chance to be a real, you know, gives you a, a one-point lead. It would have made it a 21-20 game. I mean, then it just can be a difference maker. It makes the comeback easier. That mistake was killer. I'm not putting the whole game on one play. I mean, the secondary had another rough game. Um, you let Quinshawn Judkins have a handful of big runs. What do you have in this game? 23 for 102 yards, 4.4 yards per carry. It felt like how much pressure? Yeah, I mean, the Aggies only have one sack in this game. You get a half sack from um, Cooper and, and half, sack, half sack elsewhere. It's just this football game, the Aggies were there, and they couldn't get it done. And that is quickly becoming a common theme this season for Texas A&M. You're right there, but you can't get the job done. I don't know where you go from here. I mean, you have two win- winnable football games to get home against Mississippi State and home against Abilene Christian, so you should be 7-4 and four going into the LSU game. But, I mean, what's your motivation now? I mean, 8-4, uh, uh, and four, great. Eight, it's 8-4, eight and four, cool. Okay, that's great. But you lost three football games that you're right there, or if you lose this game seven and five, and let's say you do play LSU close, you're just going to sit here and look at this and go, wow, we, the only game that you could argue we didn't play close was the Miami game. We were right here in the rest of these football games. You're not far. We know the talent. You're not far. It's just, you can't get it done. And it's extremely, extremely frustrating. That's going to do it for this reaction show of locked on Aggies. We'll talk about this game more on Monday's episode. So be ready for that. Got another game to prepare for here with Mississippi State, and we will have some basketball stuff coming your way. That should bring Aggie fans some some excitement as we're getting close to basketball season. So we'll have some basketball content this week as well. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Thanks for tuning in to this reaction show. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Have a good one. We will see you on Monday.